Shalom, covering mine, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Guys, you, those of you that remember this article here on February the 8th or the YouTube broadcast that we brought out, U.S. strike in Syria kills 100 Syrian military and Russian contractors. Boy, did we not get a bunch of naysayers on this issue here. We had a whirlwind of spamming from people that follow other channels that claim to be uh, the truth on what's really happening in Israel, saying that this was fake news. The same thing happened when we published the Su-25, the Russian uh, jet that was shot down before mainstream media published it. We were uh, again being attacked over that as fake news. Well, we did come back the following day sharing with you CBS, BBC, and even RT, all of them with different sides of the story, but somewhat exonerating what we were speaking about. But now it's even more provocative to show that we were exactly right on what we said. This come out now today on Haaretz. Hundreds of pro-Assad mercenaries and Russian troops killed by U.S. strike strikes in Syria this month. Putin years long incursion of, into Syria into deeply unpopular in Russia and it has been documented that the Russian government has underreported the official death toll of Russians in Syria for political reasons. So as again, we're once again seeing that what we have stated that happened then clearly being exonerated. Russian fighters were among those killed when US led coalition forces clashed with pro-government forces in Syria this month. Former Associates of the Dead said on Monday, however, the, major of the majority of the casualties are believed to be hired mercenaries from paramilitary company called Wagner, much like what the United States did with Blackwater inside of Iraq. They're doing the same thing, Russia following that same lead of how to bring in soldiers to fight in the battle without saying that they are Russian military. Now, we've reported it as Russian contractors, and of course, Wagner is a military contracting group there. It says a U.S. official has said more than 100 fighters aligned with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad died when coalition, local coalition backed forces thwarted a large attack overnight on February the 7th. However, local reports place the death toll as high as 200. Wow, that's a big number there. Russian Defense Ministry, which supports Assad forces in the Syrian civil war, said at the time that pro-government militias involved in the incident had been carrying out reconnaissance and no Russian servicemen had been in the area. Well, then this particular uh, information appeared on social media, and it is in the Russian language there. I'll give you a little bit better look right here, and it is speaking about the Russian men that were involved in the strike that were killed. These were working for the Wagner group right here. Going to share with you some more here. Another article in Russian, another yet Russian servicemen fighting there, uh, working with the Wagner group. Again, all these information was coming out. We also found a message from Russian Baltic Cossack organization that one of their members, Vladimir Loganov, from Kaliningrad was killed in Syria. According to Loganov's social media profile, before joining Wagner, he was a Cossack activist, just like Roman Zablanotoni, uh, one of the Wagner mercenaries captured by the Islamic State in 2017. Now, also, uh, uh, Amman News also brought this out. U.S. attack on pro-government forces in Deir Ezzard killed more than 10 Russians and shows the photos of those Russians that were actually killed. Kind of go down. Let me pull this up for you guys so you can see it. Get rid of some of these advertisements that are blocking the screen for you. Uh, but as you go down, oh gosh, where was it at there? I know that this is actually in this article. Are we going to see this or not? Oh, wow. When I, let, me, let me refresh this page here because they do show a number of the, right here we go, here we go. Now we got the article here. They're going to show you a lot of the photos. There's another Russian man that was killed in this strike by the United States. Another one there. Yet this man here as well, uh, these two men as well, they are showing, what do we have here? Two, three, four, five, uh, six Russian photographs of those fighters that were killed. And they are reporting that it was more than 10 were actually killed in the strike there. Uh, very interesting to see this. And of course, Russia, as we saw in RT's article, was very irate about that strike by the U.S. demanding the U.S. leave Syria. They had no right to be there. And then later publishing, the U.S. was only there for the oil. Troubling news coming out of the Middle East. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.